Hey everybody. So thank you for coming back and watching this video. Um, this channel is called Busy Diamond Painter for a reason because I love diamond painting but I'm a mom of two and I just have stuff going on and I don't have time to sit down with like certain organizing things. Anyway, I kind of have adapted my own way of doing things that doesn't have to be difficult because if I start to overthink things, I they stop being fun. So we all know how that goes, right? And so with diamond painting, I started like reading a ton of things and really like was starting to get kind of worried um, because I couldn't, there's just so much info. Hold on. And I could not grasp everything everybody was saying. So I decided just to do my own thing. There we go, I'm a little bit lower and it works. So um, first of all though, I do wanna give a shout out to a shop on Amazon. In, in Belling, I think is what they're called. They sent me some of the cutest Halloween pictures that I have ever seen. And I honestly, like you never know, this is from Amazon, you guys, I buy all my stuff off Amazon. But look at how darling, it's nice and big. You can totally like see all of the things all of the um, symbols are great. I'm working on, anyway, this was a pack of two and I think the pack of two was like $16. So it was what, $8 a painting or so. And I will link them below and I will show you more of one that I'm working on right now in a little bit. But they are really, really good quality. Like I was extremely impressed and I will for sure be ordering from them again. And I'm not just saying that, like I really pulled them out and I've had them for a while. I pulled them out. I'm like, oh, wow. It's really nice. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. I am a busy, busy mom. So I'm going to show you how I set up my inventory. And I usually do it when I just have a few minutes or when my kids are watching TV and I'm watching it with them. You know, um, anyway, so that's my plan. So I'll show you what I do. A lot of people put um, the diamonds, the drills, in these little containers. And I... I love the idea of these. I do, I, I love being able to just sit down and pour them out. But my problem is, is there's usually like a little one around and all I can think about is I would stand up and I would knock them over. So it just did not, it did not work for me. And someday eventually what I would like to do is put like all my leftover drills in something like this or when I when I'm not so clumsy if you've ever had to pick up a pack of drills you know what I'm talking about <laughs> but I absolutely love the idea of this but for right now it just didn't work for me so I am going and I'm messing with kids all day so I look lovely to show you what I did I do the Ziploc bag method so what I do is I've got a regular size Ziploc bag and I've got a bunch of small zippies and I have tried a ton of different sizes so far these are my favorite these are like two inch by three inch and sometimes you will get like we all get the little Ziplocs in some of the kits that we've gotten but I just don't trust them like they're just a little too on the flimsy side so I put everything in these and I got a pack of a hundred I think for like three bucks again on Amazon it's just my thing and you have to understand though is I, I don't do huge kits right now. I don't have the time. So my drills all fit in these. And then if I need to, you just make two or three. Okay, so these are, I'll just show you. This is my prep. I have my bags, okay? And then I get my package of drills. I don't have one here. Okay, so I grab my drill. And what I do is I like the ones with the DMC code. Sorry, I should obviously have been more prepared here. I like the ones with the DMC code. So if I can get the ones with the DMC code, I do. But you, sometimes, you know, obviously you never know. But this one, for instance... This is the one that I showed in my last unboxing, which will probably be 
my next one that I do. But what I like to do is I take my drills out and I make sure that I have all of them after you know you do your inventory. And then what I do is I take 310, okay? And I write on my Ziploc bag. So these are, this is my, my um, inventory from this Happy Halloween one that I'm working on. And I put HH, that's Happy Halloween, that's how I remember. And then I write the DMC code. So this one is 310, obviously. Okay, so on the baggie, I write which one I'm working on and the DMC code, and I just pour it right in. And this is what, yeah. okay. So easy, at least for me. Like this is this is what I'm, I'm showing you, it works for me. And then I zip it back up and I'm good to go. So I do that with everything when I get them, even ones that I haven't started, just cause I know I'm not, I'm that kind of person that I know if I don't do them and put them together that even if I'm not working on them, I'll lose them. So, so I have this one I'm working. I have a cow that I'm going to be starting in a little bit. So I took, I did the inventory and made sure I had everything and I put the tools that came with the kit in it. And these bags are way too big. I didn't love these. Um, I put cow and it didn't have the DMC code. The cow only came with like the number. So I put the number and, um, or you know what you could even do is you could cut this off and put it inside or you can use a label maker or whatever you want. It was just quicker for me to write it. And then I put it in a regular, like a quart size of black bag. And there you go. And then I have a labeled cow because I know which one's cow and I know which one it goes to and there's no risk of these accidentally getting broken or everywhere. That's just my, I spend money on them and I don't want them to go anywhere. So that's how I do my inventory. I have a cow and then I have the ape one that I did. It's done, it's gone, I still have it. The Eiffel Tower one that I did, it's done. I just keep these bags. Eventually, I will go back and I will just combine them all. But for right now, I have a drawer and they just chill out in there. And it works out great. And so far, and then I have some of these little kits that I've gotten. I actually use these for birthday presents. They will come in, you know how you get like, like little small ones every once in a while, you'll get little ones and you know you're not gonna use them right away. So what I do is I take them out, I put them in a gallon bag, cause they fit, and I put the pitcher, this is the pitcher, in here, and I have a drawer for these and their birthday presents for like my daughter's friends or if there's birthday parties that I forget about, I have it right here. Cause these, these are little, these are like, the 10 by 12s, I think. So they're perfect for little ones. I have one that my son does, he's four. And if he wants to come down and do it with me, I just have a little one that I do with him. So now, um, that's how I store my stuff. Like, I, I don't, if containers work best for you, that's awesome. I just was looking for something different that would work for um, how busy I am. And see, I wrote Happy Halloween. And my concern is that I'm gonna spill them. If I stand up a lot, I'll do these like in between my work. If I have a spare few minutes, I will do them. And my biggest worry is standing up and them getting spilled. But with the Ziploc, okay, so then I'll show you how I do this. So with the zippies, what I do, move some of these here, is I bring over, my work. Don't you hate when people aren't prepared for YouTube? Yeah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, so what I do is I actually take my painting and I have this shelf that was supposed to go in my desk, but I don't need it. 
So I just tape, I usually use like painter's tape or washi tape. I tape it to this and then I literally like just carry it all over my house. But what I do is I take, I work in sections. So right now I'm working up here in this small section. So you can tell like each little section that I'm working on. That's how I do it. And what I do is I will cut, like if I'm ready for my next section, I will cut my next section and I work per color. So then I will look and I'll hurry and like look at the symbols and be like, okay, I need, um, I need 518 and 720 and 540. So I'll pull those colors out and then I put this away, put it back or wherever out of the way. And then I do them, pour them into my tray. I, I like the green trays, you guys, I do. I love these. So that is how I do it. And then I, when I'm done with it, they pour right back in here easy and I keep everything zipped. Always have it zipped because most of the time I will have to stand up and run to kids. And that's what's really nice about the working in sections is I can just flip that flat back over and I'm good to go for a while. So anyway, that is how I do my inventory. And um, I think sometimes diamond painting can be complicated. And you guys, it's not. It's so much fun. It literally is probably the only projects that I've ever had the patience to finish. But it doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to have cupboards full of stuff. Like, there's, you can make it work for you. And um, yeah, so that's how I do it. If you have any questions, I will link the baggies and I will link this is the other um, Halloween one that I got um, from that company I will link all of those and you can go check it out and I will talk to you later bye everybody